The annual walkathon has a walking distance of 12 kilometers. Jerry has an average walking speed of five kilometers per hour. Calculate the time it took for Jerry to complete the walkathon. Now notice that the question is asking us for the time it took for Jerry to complete the walkathon. So we we so the question is asking us for time taken. And so we're gonna use our speed distance time triangle. And based on this speed distance time triangle, if we wanna figure what time is, if you want to figure out the time taken, we have to take the distance and divide it by the speed. And so that means that the time taken is going to be distance divided by speed. And so what is the distance in this case? The distance is 12 kilometers. That's the distance. And what is the speed? The speed is five kilometers per hour. And so what we're going to do is we're going to divide these two. And so we have 12 divided by five and 12 divided by five is 2.4 hours. It's actually supposed to be hours in the back here. And so that means that the answer here is 2.4 hours. And that's the time it took for Jerry to complete the walkathon. Next, the question states that Susan completed the walkathon in two and two thirds of an hour. So two and two thirds hour. So they want us to calculate Susan's average walking speed. And so once again, we're gonna use our speed distance time triangle. According to this triangle, if you want to figure what is the speed, the speed is going to be the distance divided by the time. And so that's the formula we're going to use for the speed. So speed is distance divided by time. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take two and two over three, and we're going to express it in terms of a decimal. So two and two over three is going to be 2.6666 and more sixes. And so this is, an, uh, this is an approximation for two and two over three. Now, so we have this decimal and this decimal is going, we turn into a decimal because it's easier to perform the calculations. And so what we have here is 12 kilometers divided by, so we have the distance, which is 12 kilometers, and we have the time, which is 2.666 and more sixes. And so we're gonna divide these two. So we have 12 kilometers divided by 2.666 and more sixes. And when we divide it, we get 4.5000 and more zeros and then one kilometers per hour. And what we're gonna do is we're going to express our answer correct to one decimal place. And so that means that the speed is gonna be 4.5 kilometers per hour. And that's our answer. The speed is 4.5 kilometers per hour. So Susan's average walking speed is 4.5 kilometers per hour. Next, the question states that Ken has an average walking speed of four and two over three kilometers per hour, but could only walk for one and one over two hours. And so it says, calculate the distance walk by Ken. And so here we wanna calculate the distance. Now distance, according to the speed distance time triangle, distance is going to be speed multiplied by time and so that's the formula for distance. Distance is speed multiplied by time. Now speed multiplied by time, well, what is the speed? Well, according to this question, the speed is four and two over three. All right, we have four and two over three. But well, let's convert this into an improper fraction. And so we're gonna take four and multiply it by three, and we're gonna add it to two. So four times three is 12, plus two is going to be 14 and we keep the denominator so it's going to be 14 over 3 and so the speed is 14 over 3 kilometers per hour and then let's look at the time well the time is one and a half hours and so that's the time one and a half hours so we're going to do is we're going to convert this into an improper fraction as well so we have one times two which is two plus one is going to be three and so we have three over two and so the time is three over two hours so we have the distance, which equals the speed times time. Now, the, what is the speed? The speed is four and two over three kilometers per hour multiplied by one and one over three, one and one over two hours. And so what we're gonna do is we are going to, again, we change these numbers, these fractions, these mixed fractions into improper fractions. So we have four and two over three, which is 14 over three, which we have to multiply it by one, we have one and a half, which is three over two. 
And so we have 14 over three multiplied by three over two. And so we multiply 14 times three is 42 and three times two is six. And what is 42 divided by six? Well, 42 divided by six is definitely seven kilometers. And so that means that the distance, that means that the distance walked by Ken is seven kilometers. And that's the answer for this question, seven kilometers. And that's the answer.